Hey, hey guys, I'm Simitos Ken. We're about to play Resident Evil Revelations. Resident Evil Re Revelations came out on the 3DS, and now uh, they've ported it to the PC. And this big old eyeball is sitting here staring at me, looking all crazy. But we're, we're actually going to play this one all the way through. I know I said that with Metro, and uh, I didn't. But uh, we're actually going to do it with this one. But anyway, so, let's start. Resident Evil Ooh. Revelations. Revelations. Load successful. Auto save. Okay. Checking downloadable content. Tating. What? What is all this? Just let me play the game. Come on. Saving. Did you do anything? Did you actually? Oh, that's nice. To... No thanks, game. Okay, so here we go. So we got a little guy creeping back there. Look at it, oh, creeping across the screen. Sneaking around. So let's do the campaign. Let's jump right into it. New game. Uh, normal. Saving content. Don't turn off your stuff. Again, you, 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 all you do is change screens. Why are you... Okay, anyway. Well, I should do a quick turn. Sweet. Hey, Jill. Incredible. It's so big. This thing is lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. Oh, but that would burn on your crotch. No way. That friction. Oh well, it's a game. It's been 94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them right here on this ship. All right, so here we are. Got to search for Chris and. We get to play as Jill, who has been transformed into, like, supermodel girl, you know, and her, her buddy here. I don't even know who you are. I didn't pay attention. So I got this controller we're playing with, and we got the uh, third person, you know, over the shoulder, for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, I can't see. Oh, there it is. Mm, work it, girl. Work it. Yeah. All right. Oh! What happened? Yeah, I'm good. Just the, uh, bell's ringing. It's okay, though. Shh, shut up, bell. Hey? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I like the sound of that bell. How do you run? A button to run? Push something in? Come on, or is this me running? No! Shake somebody! Shake him! What's up, guy? Ah, oh, shake it just like in prison! Mm. Mm. Might be able to shoot it off. Good. Shot it off. <laughs> That's what he said. Maybe? <laughs> Alright. So, how long has this ship been out here? It looks like crap. It looks like it's been out here forever. Really? Hello? The stench. Sorry, I've been abandoned for a while. Oh, reload, okay. Oh. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. Sounds like he's sitting on a big pile of rotting flesh, too. It's a little weird. Huh. Crew's dead. What did this to them? Huh. Alright. Hello? 
Hello? Don't mind me. I feel like, I feel like Metal Gear Solid right now, you know, number two when you get on the ship. I don't know why. No signs of life, but I feel like something's here. Would you just shut up? You're not helping any. Shake. I feel like you should shut up. All right. Hello. Hi. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That, that wasn't obvious. <laughs> that was very much obviously they do trying to hide. I guess since it was on the 3DS, it's a much smaller screen, so they had to, you know. So he climbed up in there. He's all slimy, gross. Ew. Unless he, uh, he's one of those premature guys and seen this whole hot Jill coming up and he just splooshed one off in there. <laughs> anyway. Hey right, bad guys, what's up? What's up? Where you at? Hmm? Hey! Where you going, buddy? Did you fall down on my head or something? So I can shoot you. Oh man. You put way too much ketchup on that burger. Saving. What are we saving for? Hmm? I'm gonna need some faster aiming, maybe. Maybe. Seems really slow. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna interrupt real quick. Change some options, controls. Hmm. Yeah, look at my invertedness fast. Alright. See how that is. Much better. Alright. Yeah. I say much better, is that very much better? Okay, so <clears throat> there's blood coming from the ducks. Ooh. What the Shut up! Tyler! <laughs> Check out this dude's super freaking big arm he's got over here. His arm never seen mutation like this. Alright, he's dead. Let's go this way. Okay, we can't go this way. Of course we can't. What's this? No power, which uh, means no elevator for us. Dang it! Like a sprint button, or am I just running already? Hello? It's not working. No, no, no way, really. Fall out the freaking thing! I know you're going to. Hello? You in there? All right, whatever. Let's go. Bring it on, sucker! Who was that down there? Come on, fall out! I'm ready. I'm ready. You still dead? It's way down there, okay. There. Are you ready to fight yet? So you want me to go? Some go jump out of here. Come on. What? No, not that one. Hey, uh, herb. Sweet. Why don't you open the middle one up? Hmm? Why won't you open the middle one up? Because it's broken? Don't trust him for a minute. Henry, they should go me your name until you tell me what your name is. I like how she just steps all the way into a room and shuts the door on herself. It's not very good. Hello? Rats! Rats, you better get out of here, we'll stab you. What was this? Broken stuff? Shorted out. No, oh, no. Can I get him a drink? The power still works here. Give me a drink. Hook me up. Yeah. I can't make out this picture. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Wait. I want a drink. 
Want a drink? Ugh. God dang it. We're all the birds sign the fly against the sun. Ain't got ammo in my pocket. I'm going to shoot some faces in. Oh, oh, this looks like a good fight spot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. What's up? Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. Oh, he's so ugly when he's dead. Ugh. I would never date that guy. He's so ugly. There's something shiny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, gang, let's do it. Parker, give me a hand here. Parker. No problem. Yeah, Parker, get over here. You could just... Never mind. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. Parker, suck it up. So, it's not Chris. How can you tell? It's a pretty big hand. It could be Chris. Oh, you ready? You wanna fight? You ready to fight? Oh, <laughs> check out them buns, girl. Oh, yeah, girl. I'm about to lick you so... Like, so smooth. You're like the smoothest textured guy I've ever seen, really. This explains our missing crew. This is not good. Where are you, Chris? They just had a revelation, right? Maybe. Episode one to the depths. Dun dun dun. Sounds scary. Am I supposed to hit a button here? Yeah, I am. Saving. So yeah. So far, I mean, it's pretty. It's, it's kind of like a. Someone told me that's gonna be like a throwback to old Resident Evils. And so far, the bad voice acting is. Spot on. This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar <coughs> energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But... In 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S. was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. Hey, Parker, I see you. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world.
the FBCC and the FIC and the CK double G. What? Voltron, that's what I heard. <sighs> it's this guy again. Ah, there you two are. O'Brien, you don't normally join the faith. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is gonna put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? Yeah. Uh, Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No, uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're going to need it on your mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> in the Genesis Manual. All right, well, that's pretty good for a first episode. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this Resident Evil. I guess we're doing like a prologue now, maybe? I'm not too sure exactly what we're doing. But, um, or maybe we just killed the one dude and left. But it looks like she had the Genesis, I thought. Anyway, so, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Stay toasty, my friends.